Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers and channel fans. How are you all? I want to say happy birthday to anyone celebrating their birthday today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And my wish for you is a lot of love, peace, understanding, and confidence. All right. I also wish you a lot of fun, love, and excitement. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful birthday. All right, I'm going to do your 12 houses uh, reading today. Let's go ahead and see what is going to come out here for you. I have pre-shuffled the deck a couple of times. We are going to go ahead and cut the deck. We've got a little visitor here that needs to disappear before it gets crushed like I think it just did. Sorry, bug. I'm sorry, honey. I'm trying to save you. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have here. And it's going to take me a minute to get this set up because it's a very large spread. All right, so this is good. We've got it out here, and it's all on camera, too. In fact, we can move it down just a touch here so that it's pretty much all easily viewable. All right, let us go ahead. See what's on the bottom of the deck? You've got an eye towards the future. You've got the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. All right, we're going to break this down house by house in case you've never seen this before. And if you're wondering what houses are, they're parts of your birth chart, okay? There's 12 houses, one representing each of the zodiac signs. Um, if you have not had your birth chart done, you can go and get it done for free on a site called Astro, A-S-T-R-O, Labs or Charts. Um, dot, I want to say it's dot org. Anyways, if you Google astro charts, yeah, do astro charts. If you, you know, do a search for that, then it will come up. You'll enter in your birth date, the time of day that you were born, and the city where you were born. Okay, then at the end, after you do that, you will put in your email address and they will send you all this information. Okay, I mean, a lot of information. Let me show you. I'll give you a quick glance into mine, okay? So, it is one, two, three, four, five to six pages long. And when, I'm not going to show you my um, whole thing here, but they're going to start with um, your chart, okay? So... I'm not going to have that out here. Well, I've got it out there. I may have to edit that. But they show you the different uh, trines, the kites, the squares, the odds, everything that's happening, happening planetary-wise. But you also have this section called houses down here, okay? Now, yours is going to look a little bit different when you get it. And it says here, chart houses split the chart into 12 realms, beginning from the ascendant which add another dimension of themes corresponding to the signs, starting with your sign, okay? And then it goes through um, each of the houses, and what we're going to cover today is what each of those houses represents. So, if you're interested in having that done, you will need to supply your email address, because that's the only way you can get your chart sent to you, but it will give you all this information, and you should be excited just to learn a little bit more about yourself, okay? Um, especially you'll learn what your rising sign is and your moon and your Venus and all that and what signs are in your 12 houses. So that should excite you. And the thing that I like and find the most intriguing is my rising sign. I'm a Scorpio rising. I always consider myself just to be an Aries. I'm an Aries. Well, I'm a lot more than just an Aries and so are you. But I'm a Scorpio rising, okay? And that's why, like, people have this energy towards me because that's how I present myself to the world. All right, so go check yours out, okay? All right, so we're going to start here with house one, and we go this way around the wheel. 
and we're going to start with your physical appearance and your persona, what you present to the world. And right now, you may be trying to balance something out with, um, I'm getting weight, with health. You're trying to balance something out, maybe how, um, I'm getting something about, um, how do I put that into words? I can see it, I can feel it, but I'm having, let me see. It's like a balance of more com more compassion. No, that's not quite right either. It's how you deal with people, okay? Um, but it's based on who you are and what has happened to you throughout your life. All right. Hmm. So I'm getting that something is out of, you know, it's not level. It's not even keeled. It's out of balance and you're trying to bring some sort of balance to yourself. Um, maybe you got a lopsided haircut recently and you're trying to get that right. Or like I said, it could be a weight issue or I, I don't know. I just feel like you're trying to balance something here. Okay. And like I said, it does talk about your personal persona, who you are as a person. So you may be trying to balance your belief system. Thank you. What you believe about relationships, what you believe about work, what you believe about money. You may be trying to balance those things, okay? Let's take a look at your personal values and your money matters. All right, that looks really good right now. You are solid. You are people that, you are somebody that people respect, okay? People definitely, hands down, have a lot of respect for you. And it, it's coming from a sense of knowing who you are. Again, this is confidence. You are a very loyal person. You like to help other people. It's not always about you. Beautiful. Your money, the Queen of Pentacles, you couldn't ask for much better other than the King of Pentacles. But I actually prefer to see the Queen of Pentacles because you don't let money rule you. Where the King of Pentacles is always like, oh, I got to get me more. I got to get me a little bit more. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles is like appreciative of what she has. All right. And she knows that as long as she's grateful and kind and generous, not giving where it's not deserved. Okay, that's not kindness. If somebody needs a helping hand, that's awesome. If somebody's doing something worthwhile and you want to invest in it, that's awesome. But throwing good money at something that is not good, you know that that money's going to go towards um, the detriment of the person you're giving it to. Like, you know, they're going to take your money and go do drugs. That is not who this person is. She would not do that. Okay, she's she's she values people as much as she values herself. All right, so your money is really looking good. How people value you, your personal values, what how you see the world, really good, rock solid. And I see this growing and expanding because of the people that you have around you. Beautiful energy. All right, let's go ahead. And we're going to take a look at your communications and short journeys. Okay, so short trips. Now, those could be mental or physical. But we're going to look at how you communicate with people. How do you speak with them? Do you, Are you effective? Or do you have something to uh, learn and grow on here? You have the lovers. Okay, so you're pretty balanced. You're, you're good at communicating. You don't pretend you have all the answers. Oh, no. Oh, and thank you for that, because I really, there's nothing worse than asking somebody a question, and you kind of already know the answer, but you want, like, like they're supposed to be the expert. They're supposed to be the, the person in the know, and you're just kind of confirming that what you're thinking is correct, and they give you a line. They, they just make something up, when it would be better for them to just say, I don't know. Let me go find out for you. Okay. That builds trust. But when somebody just gives you a line and you know it's wrong, you don't trust that person anymore. So I'm also seeing protection. Like you like to protect yourself, 
those around you, especially those who might be underdogs. So you communicate um, very well. You open yourself up to possibly someone laughing at you, lying to you, but you're not dumb. You're not, no, you're not, okay? Um, but you're very balanced and you realize that just because somebody gives you information doesn't mean you have to t believe it. Okay, you can go and research it. You can go check it out. You can go ask. You're not asking someone else to give you the answer. You're confirming what you already know or trying to find confirmation to something. All right, so if you're going on a short journey, um, taking a like a weekend trip, traveling across town, those types of things look pretty good. There is going to be some sort of um, obstacle here for some of you possibly midweek which is exactly where we are today so um it's an, it's an obstacle it's like a piece of lumber in the road you just drive over it but don't bulldoze through this acknowledge it when it happens okay and be grateful for whatever it is so if it was a teaching moment a lesson learned be grateful for that opportunity to see it before it got much worse okay before it took hold of your life um, short journeys, really good travel here, there. Yeah, you're protected. The sun, it looks like you're going to have a lot of clarity here in the next few days. Um, I am, I do know that like the energy for the 24th, 25th, 26th for Libra is supposed to be a little bit challenging. Um, it's not going to be horrible. Just keep yourself level-headed okay don't engage in anything that doesn't need to be engaged in and if you see something and you feel like you're going to engage in it you want to put yourself out there you want to say something about it spirit's asking you to remind yourself ask yourself these certain questions is it going to help anybody in the long run is it is it for the highest good that you want to speak up um and can you, is it even your business to get involved in? If you can answer no to those three things, leave it alone. If you can answer yes to those three things, then yes, you should absolutely probably be speaking up about whatever it is, okay? But keep in mind those three things. All right, so let's see what we have here for home and family. And I feel like that was a precursor to whatever is coming out here with home and family. Let's see what's coming out. Oh, it looks actually very good. You're achieving a goal of happiness, stability, friendship, loyalty, crossing a finish line here. Like there could have been a wedding, there could be a, an engagement, a commitment, something very nice is here. All right, so you got the lovers with the four of wands right next to it. Your houses are progressing beautifully here. I'm loving this for you. All right, so this is your home and your family. So this looks, I, I, you can't ask for much better confirmation of a very stable home, happy life. And again, I am getting marriages here. Somebody may be getting proposed to you. You may be making a partnership offer. Um, it could be business, but it feels more like family, more like a marriage, okay? Okay. You could be expecting a baby, a, grand, a child, a grandchild, great-grandchild. I'm seeing this for some reason as a baby bower, like that old child's rhyme, um, when the bow breaks, the baby will fall. Oh, what is that? Rockabye baby in the treetops, when the bow breaks. I don't know. There's more to it. I know that. that. But if the baby ends up safe. In the end okay so I am seeing a, a bow here a baby's bow so there's something about a, a or a tree bow and something about the baby or bow if you want to say it that way it's b-o-u-g-h okay b-o-u-g-h all right let's take a look at your romance creativity and actual children Ooh, I'm loving this message for you. My goodness, Libras, I told you, even if you're feeling a little bit challenged at this point, at the beginning of Libra season, do not give up because 
beautiful things are coming for you right now. It's building over Libra season and it's just going to carry through. If you get on board with it, it's going to carry through for almost nine months. Okay. I keep hearing this from my spirits. I keep hearing this from my higher power. Okay. It, you've got a beautiful year coming if you get yourself on board. All right. So you just got the Empress as far as your romance, creativity, and children. First of all, the Empress creates. Okay. So she's creating children. She's birthing children. Um, but it's not just that. I mean, there is creativity overall with the Empress energy here. Romances look really good. I mean, you've got Venus, <laughs> the goddess of love there. Okay. So beautiful energy there with your, your romance, creativity. You could be starting new projects, outdoor projects I'm hearing. There are outdoor pro projects going on. There could be reaping the rewards of something soon in this fall. Okay, we've got wheat here, which you only reap after it's ripened, which is around the fall, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. Um, but there's definitely something happening outside here for you guys. Creativity. It could be a business venture around nature, too. Drop a comment. Let me know. Is that true for you? All right. Let's take a look at work and your overall health. Okay. The judgment card here indicates that you have let something go or will be letting something go. Um, and rising. Okay. So a transformation, a change, something better is coming in. You are going to allow this to happen. You're not going to fight it. You're not going to uh, go kicking and screaming down the hallway saying, no, 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 I don't want this. No, you're embracing this. You're welcoming it with open arms. Now, this may come about outside of your control. Okay, something going on. It could be you lose a job, but something better will come in. Okay, you're rising above the ending of something. And I'm getting, and there is some sort of difficult, not, not, okay, challenging, not difficult, challenging situation to deal with. Okay, maybe you've been dealing with a health issue for quite a while, and now it's finally over. Something's changing, something's transforming, something that um, the doctor has done. Something that spirit has done, your higher power, your God, who knows? Something has changed here. And I do feel like for a lot of you, it's beyond your control. But you're oh, you're you're accepting this open-armed. Like you are ready for this. And that is in your work and your health, okay? So it could be a loss of a job, a gain of a job, a promotion within a job. Again, some of you may not necessarily like have applied for a promotion or wanted a promotion, but seeing this opportunity, you're willing to accept it. You, you, you're not just willing, you're embracing it wholeheartedly. So that is beautiful. All right, let's take a look at your relationships and your business partners, um, partnerships. King of Swords, you're thinking things through very clearly, you're signing contracts, you're making commitments, you're wheeling and dealing here. Things are good. I'm getting the purchase of a home, purchase of a car, selling something. Um, yeah, like wheeling and dealing. So it's not just all you purchasing or you all just selling. You're doing back and forth different things. You might be selling a house, but buying a new car. You might be doing a yard sale, but still purchasing something new for your home. So there's a lot of different things going on. I do feel like you're very, very straightforward in your dealings with anybody that you've got a commitment with as far as relationships or partnerships. Okay, very, very on point. You may have to pull out documentation to say, this is the way we are going to do it. This is the way that makes sense. So you may be the one drawing up some contracts here. You may be a lawyer. You may be a grant writer. Um, 
there's a lot of different things happening here, but it's very, very logical. Okay, you're very clear headed and things are moving along beautifully. But I do feel there is definitely an exchange, but it's on your terms. Okay, so there's wheeling and dealing in a very good way. Okay, beneficial to you and to those around you. All right, let's go ahead and see what your shared resources, inheritances, or secrets might be. Oh, we might reveal a secret. Two of Cups. Oh, a secret love. Mm-hmm. Something is possibly falling into place for you here. That's healing. Now, I am getting something about the inheritance. Somebody has been waiting on something here. Somebody's going to make a gesture towards you concerning that inheritance. It will put things pretty much into alignment. It's not going to be perfect for you. But it's going to be a workable, acceptable something okay and you may not know this or you may be the one who's making that offer and you actually benefit a little bit better than the other person which would be you keeping a little bit of a secret there from them but it's still fair okay it's still fair um i'm getting spirit will not let it be any less than fair All right, what, what do we have here? Shared resources, balanced, harmonious, good choices, healthy choices. So any resources that you need will be available to you. There is a house in the distance here, and that house sits on a hill. Interesting. Okay, so that's interesting for sure. Let's take a look at... Um, house nine, which is teaching, learnings, and your long journeys, like a vacation for a week, a month, maybe a sabbatical for a year. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Oh, the, here she is. She's in every one of your readings, that crazy queen of wands, who I adore. I absolutely adore. She is char charismatic, loyal, intuitive, okay? And this is about your teaching, your learnings, and your long journeys. If you were to have somebody go with you, you'd want the Queen of Wands because she knows when to talk. She knows when to be quiet. She knows how to get things done, get you to where you want to go. She's not going to let you second guess yourself about, am I on the right path, okay? She's going to say, hey, you know, maybe you didn't want to turn at that last one. You were supposed to go another mile up the road and turn. All right, so travel companion here with the Queen of Wands. Beautiful travel companion. Um, teaching, you may learn something from this Queen of Wands. This could be your energy, of course, Libras, or anyone else resonating, resonating with this message. Trust of your intuition. Look, we have the pyramids in the background here. Now, that's history. Okay, so there is something of, oh, I just heard archaeology. Um, this person may be a mentor to you, a teacher of sorts to you. Again, the roles could be reversed. You could be a mentor to someone else. This is intriguing me. Leo energy here, something about protection, loyalty, trust, um, courage, bravery, trusting your intuition, but following your desires. Okay, I will tell you quickly this, the short story of the Queen of Wands in the original tarot, which this is the original tarot. The black cats at the time that the tarot was written were considered taboo. Nobody owned a black cat. Don't let the black cat pat cross your path. It's bad luck, so on and so forth. But she has one sitting right in front of her. She doesn't care what other people think to the degree that she can think for herself. So there's something in that for you uh, as far as teaching or learning. Okay, you've learned possibly how to think for yourself, trust your intuition, Um and you've done it in a very courageous and brave way. Beautiful. 
All right, let's go ahead and see what we have as your vocation, career goals, or aspirations. You're done, dead, and over with. <laughs> you don't have any aspirations. You don't have a career. You don't have a vocation. No, I'm just kidding. I, I do get strongly here that somebody has retired. Okay. But you've also put whatever you have been doing for the last, I don't know, 10 years behind you. You are changing direction. You're, you have a new day dawning here. You're about to rise up. Okay. So there is something beautiful coming your way. Even though this is the Ten of Swords. I really am hearing that there is a new day dawning, which is what's happening back here. And you're facing it. You're looking forward to it. And there is a mudra, okay? Like the um, energy of this, you know, when we um, are meditating, okay? They have certain meanings. And this one means that you are about to rise again. So Scorpio energy, um, death, rebirth. Letting something go, going with the flow. Lessons that have been learned, but now, you know, you're putting that aside. So I'm getting here for some reason, like a new start, a new a new career type, a new job, something more fun, less stressful. It's going to have lighter energy around it. Some of you definitely are retiring. It's over. It's done. Moving on. Now you're looking for the fun. You're seeking the sun. All right. Let's see what we have here for friends, your groups that you're involved in, and your sense of community. Oh, that may be what's happening here. Okay. So this could be moving away from friends because you're retired. Okay. You're not in the same job. You're losing some friends. But... With the death card, there's always a rebirth. And I kept saying and feeling that. The Scorpio energy, which is the death card. Moving on. The sun is coming up here. Better things will come in. The key is here. The answers are available. Okay? So, as far as your friends, your groups, your communities, there's shuffling, there's changing, new people, you know, old people going, new people coming, and not all of your friends are leaving, not all of your co-workers are going to be gone, not all of anything, it's always a balance here. So there is a changing of energy, changing of um, what's happening, maybe there's elections going on within your community, such as, you know, your HOA you're looking, or your art guild, or your whatever you're involved in. You're, it, it, you're now building the leagues again, too, for like bowling and stuff like that. We're heading into the winter months where people do things, you know, we change it up from summer to winter. All right. Let's see what's in your subconscious and the hidden realms, okay? This may be something you have absolutely no idea of, but this could also be something that you're feeling. You, you can't quite put your finger on it, but you're feeling it. Let's go ahead and see what we have. Look at this. Better days are coming. The sun, look at that. Three cards with the sun coming out. Here it is. You're, you're expecting the new day dawning, okay? You see it. It's dawning. Here it is. The sun has risen over the horizon in the death card. And now here it is, fully exposed, okay? So beautiful energy there. You don't possibly see this coming. You, you kind of feel like, I can feel the energy changing. I can feel myself expanding. I can feel myself being easier, breathing deeper, letting things go, going with the flow. And maybe money's coming into you now because you're having a more positive attitude towards money or work. Or you're not so stressed that you're not working. You've got what you need for the time being. So you're going to take the time to just enjoy, okay? Remembering what it was like to be a child. You didn't have the responsibilities of having to pay the bills and all those things. You got to go out and you had some fun. You played. You were in the sun. You were getting a lot of vitamin D, which was healthy for you until everyone started telling you, put sunscreen on to prevent cancer. Sorry, but the sunscreen causes you not to get enough vitamin D and probably causes half the cancers. 
as well as all the other environmental things going on. Just my humble opinion here, okay? And you don't have to buy into it because everybody has free will and we get to think for ourselves, all right? So this is a beautiful ending to your 12 house spread here. I will be getting oracle messages, but I absolutely love that this is something you feel within you, but you just don't see it here yet. It's coming. It is coming. All right, so let's go ahead and get you some oracle messages here. What shall we give them today? Uh, we're going to start with a rhinestone card. Rhinestone cowboy. Don't know where that came from. But maybe somebody's watching that movie. I don't know if I ever really watched that. I think it was John Travolta, right? Rhinestone. You know that movie came up one other time during a reading? Look at this. You've got three ruin cards here. And we've got FMB. And I feel like those are initials. BMF, MBF, FBM. All right, we've got Answer, Man, and Bjork. Okay, so we've got the mouth, speaking up, communications. And I'm pretty sure, let's see where your communications were. House three, you're doing great with that. You're in alignment, okay? You're allowing yourself to be a little bit vulnerable. All right, so the meaning of this Ruin card is everything you encounter has a message for you. Learn from your environment. You are being called to acknowledge a powerful lesson. So be prepared to let go of your preconceptions about whatever it is. All right, the reverse of this is you cannot progress until you control your own pride. True authority comes from spirit. If you hold it too tight, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no, I'm right. If you hold it too tight, it shrinks. Okay, now why did they feel like that message came from a different card? I know I just read this message to you the other day, but I don't remember getting answer. I'm going to have to go back to my videos and look at that. So there's some sort of confusion here, okay? Maybe not quite getting it. Maybe you think you're acknowledging something. Maybe you think you're, you've are you learned the lesson here. It may not be. Or um, you just haven't picked up on the message itself. If you keep seeing the same numbers, the same words, the same songs... Um, that pretty much says you haven't gotten the message. You, you're seeing the synchronicities, but you're not understanding what the message is. Okay? So what you need to do is pause at that moment and, think, and figure out what it was you were thinking, feeling, doing, who you were talking to. What triggered seeing that 1111? What were you doing? Okay? Whatever it is, whatever synchronicity it is. Um, because that is where your answer lies. So you have to be observant, and then you may be required to take action, okay? And if you miss taking that action, you're just going to keep seeing the same numbers over and over again. Now, I will say, when you see 111, when you see 11, when you see 111, or you see four ones, that can kind of be that there's an opportunity waiting for you doors are opening up, you really need to pay attention to what you were thinking or feeling, okay? And then take action on that. All right, so man is the next card, human being. The meaning of this card is embracing all the strengths and weaknesses that make you fully human is what will keep, which is what will help you to realize your divinity, Balance the emotional, intellectual, and physical and spiritual qualities within you and use your energy to inspire you. The reverse of this card is, it would be best to wholly accept yourself as you are before you can begin to make changes, okay? You, it would be best for you to wholly accept yourself as you are before you can begin to make the changes. Be kind to yourself. 
So again, I'm feeling like you're not hearing the message. All right, let's see what Bjork has for you. The birch tree, which keeps coming up for you guys. The meaning of this ruin is auspicious when contemplating a new idea. Now is the time to begin a project, okay? A new relationship, something, okay? Start something new. Let the old go. Welcome in the change. Stand in the sun and be joyful. All right, so spring clean your home and make way for fresh energy to inspire you. Clean your home, clean your house, clean your mind, okay? Clear your energy field. The reverse of this is your path is cluttered with remnants of the past. Complete or tie up old projects, or I'm sorry, discard old projects and tie up loose ends so that you can move forward. The tree here is the birch tree. And that is, um, somebody looked that up. I'm pretty sure it was, no, yeah, the birch. The, no, that was the beech tree. Okay. And the yew tree we know is death energy. It renews, it's regenerative, the birch. All right, so I'm getting AMB again for initials, okay? Let's see what else we have here for you, my loves. Let's get you an Angel Whispers number. We'll do two spirit animals, one small, one large. We will do the letter dice at the end. Wow. Trying to mess up the house is here. Who's cluttering up the house? Get the broom. Hello, we need clean up on aisle 10. <laughs> Oh, goodness. There it is. <laughs> All right. 13, 13. Clarity. That's what you are gaining. This is where your whole wheel is turning towards. All right. The angel whispers, as the storm passes, the clarity is felt faster than lightning is seen against a dark sky. The divine is reminding you that clarity is always easily available to you. All you ever have to do is ask for answers. You have weathered the storm and now the sky is clearing. Your positive affirmation here is loving energy surrounds me and I trust that the clarity I feel is the answer I need. Again, make sure that you are not just noticing the um, synchronicities, but trying to find what the message is. Okay, and it's going to be different for each of you. It's not the same for everybody. All right, let's get a spirit animal, the small card. Let's start with that. I almost asked you if you had a request for any particular oracle cards. Oh, goodness. Let's see what we have here. Dragonfly magic. I love this. And it says, I embrace my transformation. Okay, you embrace it. You are wholeheartedly. You're letting something go. And you courageously, Queen of Wands, let go of the past. The magic of nature is in you. And I said something about being outdoors. Something is crucial to a project, a new relationship, something. Okay, so the magic of nature is in you. You are brilliant and you are blessed. Okay, so you can say that as, I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. And yes, I feel blessed. I hope you do too. All right, see, we have blessed and thankful. Grateful for what we have. That brings in blessings more and more every single moment. All right, let's go ahead and get you a large spirit animal. Those didn't shuffle very well. Let me try that again. I got most of them. <laughs> All right, what's it going to be? The frog spirit. Oh my gosh. It's frog spirit. And it's saying exactly what was said over here. Clear 
out the clutter. Okay, this is card 28, which is a 10. 10 of swords. Let it go. Let it move on. Let it be. All right, so let's see what Frog Spirit has for you today. I gotta find my place in the book. 28. One more page. All right, so Frog Spirit knows that while all the other frogs are croaking away, this is a time for you to simplify and declutter your own life so that you can feel content on your lily pad. Even when life isn't creating a total noise in the background, a kick of funny, we can become drawn to the excitement of lots of noise, the drama, the chaos. Then the next thing we know, our schedules and our homes are cluttered with commitments we regret making, objects taking up value space, even relationships cluttering up our life, the drama, the chaos, okay? And we need to declutter those. Frog Spirit appears today to tell you to go ahead and clean house, clean your mind, clear your aura field. Prioritize what you need and get rid of or give away the rest so you can have some space in your day, in your head, in your home, and in your heart. You don't need the old stuff and its stories shouting at you all the time about what happened in the past. You need to live in the here and the now and moving, marching into the future. Along with physical clutter, friendships are sometimes kept long past their expiration date, and these can weigh you down with unnecessary baggage and chaos. Now is the time to let those things go. Whatever you need will appear when you need it, so release your grip on all that clutter that is making you feel anxious and burdened. Frog Spirit would like you to know, or would like to remind you, to reclaim your space um, unencumbered by shoulds, oughts, could have, must, let go and jump in. You are free from all of those restrictive old ways. The protection message is, what's weighing you down? Is it time for a spiritual and psychic cleansing? Are you overdue for letting go of the voices that surround you? They may have started to get into your head, these voices that bog you down and keep you from leaping forward into something better. Let others croak and create their own dramas while you make space for yourself and for hearing your own thoughts as they arise. Declutter your schedule and stop trying to do it all, and then some. Let others manage their own baggage, their own lives, rather than allowing it to be dumped on you. Ooh, there is something again about giving that money or the time to somebody who's not doing anything to improve their own life. It's sucking you dry, okay? It's taking from you your positive energy. All right, so let others manage their own life rather than allowing it to be dumped on you. For your lily pad needs to be clear of other people's clutter. Frog spirit may also come bearing a message about your physical space. Do you hold on to things because you are afraid of losing your energetic connection to the past? to people who are no longer in your life, or to the goals that you never pursued? Or could you have these items around because you would feel guilty if you got rid of them? Are your storage and living spaces stuffed with reminders of what you are not when they should be holding only objects that reflect who you are and aspire to be? If something is no longer making you feel joyful, empowered, and excited, Frog Spirit is asking you to let it go and free yourself to leap forward into something new, trusting that you will always have what you need. You know, a good way to get rid of a lot of clutter is to, especially if you have a storage unit. First of all, I don't know why we Americans got into these storage units. It was just a way for us to buy more things that we don't need. But think about it. If you've got it in storage and it's been sitting there for years, what purpose is it serving in your life? If you have only gone to your storage unit to open the door, look at it and close it or put something else in there, 
it may be time to open that door, pull stuff out, and have a yard sale. Okay? And if you have items that um, are like family member photos of people who have passed and stuff like that, if you're not actively using those things, maybe somebody else in your family would like to have them. Okay? And if you don't have any family members and you really don't want to pay for storage on something like that, then maybe you want to consider giving it to a genealogist or um, a historian, the public library. There might be information in all of your photos and stuff they would love to have. And if at the very, very last resort, you can always give it to an art guild that may do something beautiful with what you've got. Now, they may cut it up too, just so you know that. But they will try to transform anything that they are given into something better. So consider decluttering. And, you know, when it comes to decluttering our lives, I think bigger yet is the people that really drag us down. I don't mean that you have to shove those people out of your life. If it's your child, you're definitely not going to cut them off for good. You know what I'm saying? But how much control do they have over your life? Take your control back. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we have here with the uh, letter dice. And I think we're going to get another Oracle message I just heard. All right, so Wild, I will re-roll that. Um, Xavier, Roxanne, Rowena, Reynold, 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 Reynard, Reynard Sarah, Sophia, Spring, Springly, um, Fester, <laughs> Foster, Gossamer, Gosling. All right, we have Georgia. We have Granny, Granny, Grayson, Banis, Banner, Baxter, Phoebe. Fifi, Finn, Gail, A Anita, Ohio, Yoga, Yogi, Boy, B O Y, B O I, Bonnie, Baron, Barrett, Ingrid, Ian. Um, I don't know what that is. Elena, Allison, Ally, Ally, maybe it's Ally, Tanya, Tina, Tracy, Lester, Lana, Laura, Larissa, Mary, Mac, Michelle, Mitchell, Quinn, Peter, Paula, Larry, Tina, Gigi, Hillary, Honolulu, Utah, Orion, Aria, Auren, Auren, A W R A N, Auren, Jules, Vincent, Victor, Vicky, <clears throat> Lewis, Lenny, Lonnie, Don, Adelia, Dale, Meandra. Let me re-roll this. Nana, Nina, New Hampshire, KJ, Ziggy, um, Tanisha, 
New Jersey. All right, that's what I've got there. Let me get you another oracle message. Spirit's telling me to give you a she who. Where are you? She who oracle message. Oops, let's get them all in the deck here. Don't forget, you can do me a big favor, if you would, while we're shuffling. Uh, go ahead and click on the like button for me. Feel free to drop a comment. Did you enjoy this 12 house uh, spread message for you this time around? It's a good one. I'll tell you, it's a beautiful one. Progressing beautifully too. And don't forget to go check out your um, charts, your birth charts. But yeah, if you could uh, drop a comment, share this message with anyone that you think might enjoy hearing it. Um, and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not done so already. Okay, um, and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you found something that makes sense to you. All right, she who forgives, elixir, remorse, guilt, and forgiveness. Interesting. I was not expecting that at all. Let's see what we've got here. Elixir appears because you may be seeking solace from hurts that have been inflicted upon you by others. It would be best for you to ask yourself if those wounds were self-inflicted. Interesting. Did you perhaps stay too long in a relationship when you knew that you should leave? Did you not return when you had messages that you were needed? There are so many ways we can harm ourselves, but the worst of all is our guilt. We heap blame upon ourselves when we can't undo what has been done. Remorse for things said or unsaid. All of this must be dealt with when we are seeking healing. The message of this card is you can be healed, but first you must forgive yourself. How do you do that? You acknowledge that you're a human being and that you have a dark side and a light side. And sometimes our egos get the better of us. If you feel remorse over doing something, you're not likely to continue doing that. So let it go. Use that as a lesson learned. Here's some ideas that you can use if you want some help with that. All right. If, if you were to write a letter asking for forgiveness, what would that letter say? Another one, if you could write a letter telling someone you forgive them, what would that letter say? And the last one is, what do you need to let go of in order to heal? So ask yourself, what do I need to let go of in order to heal? Beautiful cards, too. All right, my loves. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, tickle tap, booper zap, claim it in the comments. Don't forget, it's Libra season. Get on my email list. You should receive a letter with a special offer. And if you are new here and you have not seen my community post about the giveaway that I'm doing, please go to my channel, go to the community post, and look for that about the giveaway. All right. I love you all to pieces. Bye-bye.